Hey, hi again and uh, welcome. This is part number six uh, of the tutorials on how to work with the photo editor developed by uh, MacGyver. Today I'm going to show you how to work with uh, uh, the drawing tool, how to use it in uh, uh, two different ways. The first one and the uh, most uh, easy one is Let's choose uh, an <coughs> image from the gallery. Uh, go to the button menu and scroll till you find the tool right here. Drawing tool. Okay. Uh, there are a few options right here. Uh, I'll show you in a minute how uh, how it works. But let's start, as I said, in the easiest way. Uh, I would like to create uh, a frame uh, around the photo. Uh, if we go backwards for a minute, there is actually uh, at the bottom menu uh, a frame tab right here. Is it? Yep, right here. Okay. Uh, few, uh, to my opinion, uh, too few uh, options uh, to create frames. Uh, none of them is uh, what I want to show you. The closest one is the uh, right here, but it's not exactly what I wanted to create. Uh, it's a kind of a uh, faded at the age. Uh, it's nice, but again let's go backwards. Uh, go again to the drawing tool right here. Um, okay, choose your brush as always. Uh, I'll set it to the largest size and the uh, software hardness. Go to the uh, color wheel and I will choose the whitest available. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, should be enough. What I'm doing and just trying to uh, to place it exactly here in the corner to get uh, the most white possible. Yep, enough. Okay. Uh, and now very uh, carefully and slowly I'm just uh, start to brush the edge of the photo. Let's do it. Okay, you can hardly see it here at the bottom, uh, and I'll show you why. Let's cancel the operation and go back to the uh, color. Now, notice that the opacity here is not at the 100%, so let's just call it to the 100%, and now the white look, mu look much whiter. Okay, now if you go back and just brush it, that's exactly what I want to get. Okay, so I'm just brushing it. Um, this is kind of the faded uh, uh, frame that uh, is for myself I like to use a lot. Okay, let's cancel the operation, go backwards one more time. and go back to the gallery. Okay, the second thing and uh, a little bit more uh, complicated uh, that I want to show you is uh, look here, there are two photos. The original one which I turned into black and white and the one that I actually colored uh, with a drawing tool. Um, I don't think uh, that uh, it meant to be as a drawing, as a color uh, tool, but if you have uh, an open-minded and a good hands, 
uh, you could try do exactly what I did of course it's not realistic and it's very hard to get real color but it looks nice okay so how do we do it gallery choose the black and white photo now uh, this is the photo let's start with the uh, uh, sun right here and uh, let's go to the drawing tool right here uh, choose again the brush apply go to the circle choose the color that you want that you want I will choose uh, something close to uh, brown now this is the opacity that's how the color will look at a hundred percent of the, its opacity now if we go and try to color it with a brush we will actually delete it okay we are not really coloring it we just uh, delete it or color it with a um, full uh, a brown color we actually block the, the photo that's not what we want to do so let's reverse it uh, go back to the color and now make the opacity uh, about in the middle half halfway uh, and now as long as we keep our finger on the photo we could actually color it in very very light uh, brown okay intentionally uh, I'm not going here to the uh, very narrow uh, space we will do it later on um, now once I stop uh, brushing the area if I go again I will actually double the, the effect so now the brown will get a little bit darker of course you can achieve it from the beginning but if you're not sure do it twice and three times if you need okay now what about the area here the triangle uh, it's very hard to do it with a, a with a large brush and anyway it's a very complicated area to work so what you could do and uh, on the contrary to what I've said in uh, the earlier tutorial there is actually uh, a way to enlarge the the photo let's enlarge it um, okay there are actually two ways we can go to the 200% or 100% in thousand millimeter let's go to the 200% now that's what we get uh, if we want to move it to scroll uh, to the left and the right uh, if we just touch the photo look what happens I'm moving my finger to the right and to the left and we're actually coloring it and I don't, I don't want to color it so what do we do just click on the brush here and now choose uh, the arrow sign now I'll be able to I'm just uh, pinching the photo actually touch and drag and this is smallest size and just with two fingers I'm enlarging it this is the maximum and I can control uh, the picture actually move it left let's do it a little bit slower that you will be able to see and then moving it to the right and just put it in the middle now click again on the arrow choose again uh, the brush uh, and start coloring the this area if you find it's still difficult so just click on the brush reduce the size of the uh, brush apply it and now you can do it a little bit more easily okay um, again we can click on the fit 
and get the uh, max the the full photo or we could again click on the brush choose the arrow and just pinch it to the minimum uh, size okay it's not uh, so nice the area around here but let's continue now I would like to work on the uh, pants on her trousers so again uh, I'm just enlarging it by touch and drag by pinching the photo place it in the middle okay go to the arrow choose the brush again uh, and now let's color it in uh, pink kind of pink or purple doesn't really matter okay uh, again make sure the opacity is it not at 100 percent let's reduce it okay and I'll enlarge it a little bit and just start painting the trousers okay don't bother about uh, the edge here now as long as you're able to see the details uh, underneath it's okay once you uh, block the detail it means that you get too much so let's leave it right here fit and if you look the photo from a distance <laughs> it looks nice okay we can uh, continue let's go to the uh, shirt again to the brush tool arrow enlarge it go back to the arrow choose the brush choose the color that you want let's say kind of not not green uh, red let's do it on red okay just brush it something like that you have to be very patient and very precise if you want to create something nice okay I believe you got it uh, and that's the way to color it uh, it takes a long time and uh, but the result could be very nice uh, let's save it oh one more thing very important uh, that I forgot to tell you um, okay I don't want to cancel it so let's stay right here but uh, let's go back to the drawing tool uh, enlarge it now within uh, within the um, brush there is an eraser one option is brush second one is eraser um, if you go here to the arrow and choose the eraser now uh, sorry about that let's move on uh, let's go back to the photo um, choose for a minute the brush uh, let's choose blue okay just color a little bit the sky okay uh, let's enlarge it a bit okay I've colored uh, the sky but I also touched the, the trees now the uh, best way is just to choose another color like green and go over the, the blue uh, the second option is to choose the eraser and just brush the area that you don't want to color now I've cleaned up uh, the colored area the blue okay hopefully you can see it now if I go back to the eraser tool click it and choose the brush go to the wheel choose green okay now I'll be able to color the green and blue okay uh, and I want also to uh, color in brown 
the uh, how do you say the root uh, right here the tree right here with brown uh, so again choose the brush uh, let's go to kind of brown mm, something like that brush smaller size something like that 100% okay that's the result we get let's save it to the gallery okay let's go back to my quick pick gallery uh, photo editor gallery uh, okay this is the first and the original photo after I turn it into black and white this is what I've done before I started to record her. It's a little bit more uh, colorful. And that's what we did today. Nice. Could be much better, but nice. Okay. Have fun and uh, see you later on. Bye bye.